Today is Monday, May 1st, right? Is that, yeah, May Day. Happy May Day, everybody. And uh, today, uh, NASCAR, the big series, they usually have their races on a Sunday afternoon. That's what they try to do. But unfortunately, when you uh, do outdoor sports, you can't control the weather. And they don't do, they don't do indoor NASCAR because, uh, well, fumes. If you did indoor NASCAR and you had fumes. Oh, where are you? Home of the Monster Mile. There he is, Miles. The Monster. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick scoot around, see what we got going on, come back to the car, drop off the stuff. Uh, now, here's the thing. I don't, I don't even have a ticket for today's event. What do you think of that? I, I'm going to try to, to get into the event for free. Not everybody shows up the next day, so they just kind of let people come in and do what they want. Uh, that's what I found at Pocono. Now, will it happen here at Dover? I, I really think I will be able to get in for free. Worst comes to worst, I buy a ticket, right? No big deal. Well, check out these grandstands. If you've never been to a NASCAR race, man, look how big these seats are. All the way up. And all it is is just bleachers. Just bleachers. For those of you wondering, I do have a driver. My driver is Kyle Busch. Uh, I believe he's the number eight now. Man, I thought that was Michael Waltrip. I was about to lose my mind. And there he is. This is Miles the Monster. And it looks like he's holding the 48 car. There he is. And if you take a good peek at the monster, they have all the winners from the old races. Richard Petty won in 1970. Cale Yarbrough, 1976. Guess what? Richard Petty, 1979. There's Daryl Waltrip. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, Brad Keselowski. Yuck. Right? We hate Brad Keselowski. Uh, there he is, Kyle Busch. Kyle does pretty good here. So I'm on uh, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson, he does pretty good here too. Yeah, I've been here. I've been here when Jimmy won. I've been here when uh, Kyle won. They really do some fun stuff in here. They have a... Uh, Man, it looks like they got a... Are they taking it down or are they putting it up? Looks like they're building some bumper cars. There's the old bobsled ride. The Himalayas. Come to a NASCAR event. I, I always say get get there at least uh Two hours before the race starts, so you can walk around and take check out this stuff. There he is. There's my driver. Number eight in number eight on the track, but number one in my heart. Kyle Bush. Richard Childress. Huh? He's right racing for Richard Childress. No longer with Joe Gibbs. Wonder what happened there. And there it is, Joe Gibbs. Who's Joe Gibbs got now? They got, they still got Denny Hamlin. I don't even know. Look at this young baby. Look how young that kid is compared to that guy. Is that Truex? Oh, my God. Everybody's getting old. There's a NASCAR 75th anniversary. You know, the first NASCAR race happened right outside of Philadelphia at the um, Langhorn Speedway. It's no longer there. It's now like a car dealership or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty cool that the first race sort of has Philly ties. Right, 
Dover Motor Speedway, NASCAR. 75 years of motor sport driving. How exciting. And there it is. It's 9 a.m. and this man's drinking a beer. Let's go. Another cool thing about NASCAR, you, you can bring beer into the, the, the uh, race. There it is. We're in the racetrack. <laughs> Looks like the cheapest ticket for the race today is sixty five dollars. All right, see these guys here? That's Kyle Bush's uh, pit crew. That. Here's some more pit crew people just showing up. It is the General Tire. This is Richard Petty's old car. It's a 76 Monte Carlo. Fun fact, my first car was a 76 Monte Carlo. It looked nothing like this. this merch get yourself some driver merch man I can't I don't know any of these guys I'm so out of the loop when it comes to NASCAR all right like I recognize Joey Logano you know how you can recognize Joey Logano you see his face you just want to punch it right you just want to punch him right in the face there's Kevin Harvick now the reason I don't like Kevin Harvick is a little weird uh, I am not a fan of Kevin Harvick because his wife wears the driver's outfit. I don't even know if he's still married to her. But his wife, uh, oh, I forget her name. She used to dress in the driver outfit with the whole fireproof suit. Drove me insane. I hated her. And because of that, I hate Kevin Harvick. Listen, what are you stalking me? I'm just trying to go to a, oh, a go, I'm going to a NASCAR race, and of course I find right here. him. When he, yeah, I was here for one of his wins. I'm a Kyle Busch guy. Oh, yeah, I like number, well, it used to be, yeah, I know. So what I do is I got I to gotta get some duct tape and cover up that 18. <laughs> Where are you sitting today? I don't know, I didn't get a ticket yet. I figured with Poconos, when it gets rained out, they let everybody in for free the next day. Yeah. And, no, nah, no, nah, I'm finding that out. So I'm going to find out, but I'll, I'll walk around. So it looks like the average price for a NASCAR t-shirt is about $30. And the average price for a NASCAR hat, about $35. Man, the line to get in to the track goes from all the way there, all the way back. Helicopter like, hovering right over the track. Now, sometimes, sometimes uh, the uh, NASCAR drivers they fly themselves to the races. Um, they drive, uh, they fly the helicopter in. The lines to get into the, the racetrack are crazy long. I'm talking. These people are going to wait about 40 minutes just to get into the track. This is the end of the line. See the line right there? Those people right there. And it's still going. Really, Captain? Here we are! And the problem is, they have entrances like this for suites where nobody's going in. But if you're not living that sweet life, you're waiting that line life because and it keeps going. Yeah, this is crazy. It's still going. Wow. I've been walking three minutes and twenty seconds. And then so it goes back here. It still goes. And then it goes that way. And then it snakes. It snakes even more. Down this way, through here through here to here.
And there's another entrance with another line. I believe, honestly, this, I would call this the Monster Mile. These are almost as bad as the lines at Dollar Dog Night. Wow. From about 20 yards away from the track, you can feel it. You can feel it in your body. the monster no car in his hand but there he is says it's the official pace car I call bullshit I don't think it's the actual official pace car
tell you the truth, I don't give a shit about anybody else but Kyle. That's enough racing today for me. I'm tired. I didn't get enough sleep in the car. Kyle Busch isn't going to win. So what the hell do I care, you know? Um, luckily for you, time has passed, and I know who won the race. The winner was. Say, there's, uh, you got, in the Philadelphia market, you got Pocono Raceway, and you got Dover. I prefer Dover way more than Pocono, uh, just because that you can see the whole track. If you go to Pocono, it's like a, it's shaped like a giant triangle, so you can only see like one third of the track. Uh, I, I if I leave now, I'll be just in time for rush hour traffic in Philadelphia. We'll be the first ones to leave. First ones here. First ones to leave. That's pretty accurate for today. So I spent a grand total of 70 cents today. 70 cents. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. 71 cents. I played the penny slots for a dollar, and I got 29 cents back. Not bad.